The JF-17 is coming, guys! As, as a squadron vehicle, which is kinda crazy, but yeah, pretty cool, right? Let's talk a little bit about it while we wait for the live stream to start. Hello, guys, once again, it's Matt. Thank you all the members and patrons. Make sure to subscribe. And yeah, guys, the live streams will happen today, already confirmed, okay? Uh, I don't know when the English one will start, but the Russian one will start in around uh, three hours. So, uh, yeah, while we wait for that, or two hours and a half when I post the video, right? Uh, but uh, while we wait for that, let's talk a little bit about the JF-17, the new light fighter for top tier uh, China as a squadron vehicle. Uh, it is going to be very, very cool. They talk a little bit about the history behind these aircraft over here, but the funny part is that this is technically a MiG-21. <laughs> No, it, it's not really a MiG-21, right? But uh, the idea was to develop so much an idea behind the J-7 that it would become something else, right? Uh, and it did become. Um, the idea behind it, you can see some silhouette features that are a little bit similar to the MiG-21, but at the end of the day, it's, it's such a different design that you cannot say it's based too much on the J7, right? I mean, initially it was the idea, but eventually became something else, as I was saying, right? But the idea here is that it is basically a substitute to something like a J7, right? A MiG-21. So uh, it is going to be a light fighter that can be very cheap and easy to build. That's the idea behind something like this and uh, using the most modern weapon systems and stuff that a fourth generation would actually use, right? So, uh, as you see, modern Raider. I don't know what Raider exactly, how the Raider will perform, but it is a modern modern Raider, modern cockpit, modern design, modern flight control systems, of course. Uh, the engine itself is the RD-93, which is uh, an upgraded or adapted version of the RD-33s of the MiG-29. So, uh, for an aircraft that is only using one engine, it might be not that strong, okay? This aircraft won't pass Mach 2, if I'm not mistaken, but um, it's still, you know, fast enough, I would say. Uh, but it's probably gonna lose a little bit of energy more quickly than some of the other aircraft that we see in top tier, okay? Um, and on the weapon side of things, which is, I think, the most interesting part, is, of course, the base of it all, of all Chinese aircraft um, during the 2000s and stuff, the PL-12, basically. Well, it is the SD-10, okay, guys? It is going to be called the SD-10. But the thing is, the SD-10 is pretty much a PL-12 with some minor differences. Uh, some people even say that it has less range. So it is going to be a little bit different, but at the end of the day, it is pretty much a PL-12, okay? Uh, as you see, it has a double-stacked pylon, which is pretty cool. I don't think it can actually carry more missiles in this pylon. I think it's only for other types of stuff, but... Um, yeah, on the very least form, you know, PL-12s, and then the IR missiles. And what is this IR missile? Well, guys, this is a PL-5E2. Yes, we are finally getting a new version of the PL-5, being the most advanced version we have ever seen. Uh, this is going to be all aspects with IRCCM, according to most sources. So it should be the most advanced PL-5, as I said, a very advanced short-range AIM-9, basically, right? That turns very well, 35 Gs, probably, uh, and... Again, IRCCM, um, all aspect capability, and it should come to the um, to the J10 as well. Okay, these are probably the the main missiles for the J10 as well. So very cool aircraft. The weird part is that this thing is a squadron vehicle, so it's gonna take a while for everybody to research this unless you buy it, right? So uh, yeah, but it is one of the best squadron vehicles you can get. For sure, you know, I'm going to be testing when the dev server comes up, uh, so keep an eye out. And then for the air to ground capability, it can carry laser guided stuff, uh, western and eastern, you know. It can carry some Chinese bombs, some American bombs, and of course some laser guided missiles, anti-ship missiles actually, which is the, uh, I forgot the name, let me find it, it's the BRM-1 laser guided anti-ship missile. So, uh, very cool aircraft, cannot wait to fly this thing, always love the JF, uh, so yeah, very, very cool. I hope you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think this aircraft will be like in the game. Keep an eye out, the stream should start in around 2-3 to three hours, okay? See ya guys, bye.